What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video with your boy Thick Whips. Today we are here with BMW's quickest, most powerful sedan ever produced, the M5 CS. It's going to be a good one. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. <laughs> This is going to be, of course, the successor of the M5 competition, but this one, obviously being the CS, is going to be a little bit different. It's lighter weight, it makes a little more power, it's got the yellow LEDs up front, it's got the satin paint, it's got the carbon bits, it's got the satin gold trim, it's got the gold wheels. So we'll just do a quick walk around and take a look at the car and talk about a couple of things. Um, the entire hood is going to be carbon fiber. This car actually weighs about 200, a little over 200 pounds less than the M5 competition, which is actually a very big deal when it comes to power to weight. I believe it makes about 10 horsepower more over the M5 comp, which um, isn't a lot, but when it comes to that weight and that little horsepower bump, you're really gonna feel that. Got these really cool yellow LEDs up front, M5 CS badge, you've got the satin gold all over, we've got a carbon CS lip up front. Like I said, the whole hood is carbon fiber. I have these exposed carbon fiber vent pieces right there. We've got the gold wheels. These are so beautiful. And then of course the carbon ceramic brakes. This color is absolutely stunning. It sits a little bit lower from factory than the M5 competition. The sports suspension on this car was actually tuned on the Nürburgring. So you just know that this thing is going to be dialed. Probably gonna be a bit more firm than the M5 comp if I had to guess. One interesting fact about the M5 CS is it doesn't have the titanium exhaust. The M5 competition, you were able to option in the titanium exhaust, but this one does not. So it sounds a little bit more quiet than if you were to to have the um, titanium exhaust on the M5 comp. Then of course we have the CS carbon trunk lid spoiler, full carbon roof. I think one of my favorite parts about this car are the yellow headlights. It just looks very sporty, very motorsport. I love the yellow accents. So let's take a look at the inside because the inside, they did not skimp on the inside at all on this car. Beautiful steering wheel. We've got the Alcantara, obviously your M1, M2 buttons. You've got your carbon paddles, which look really good. They're not too big. They're not too small. Obviously a beautiful digital instrument cluster with the M5 CS up there just to remind you that you are a baller. The wonderful carbon buckets. Now I will say, just from the short drive to this parking lot, these are stiff. These are very stiff and certainly not for everyone. But for a car like this, I think it makes sense. It is the CS. This is going to be the sportiest version of the M5. So why not? But if you are a bigger guy, I don't know that these are gonna be the, um, the move. On all four headrests of each seat, we've got the Nürburgring etched out, looks really cool. These are Alcantara with leather, matching our steering wheel, looks really good. Piano black trim, let's go to the back. Obviously these are full carbon buckets, so you have that beautiful gloss carbon exposed. And then even the back seats are buckets. So here it is, the 4.4 liter V8, making 627 horsepower in this M5 CS, and she is a beast, absolute beast. Beautiful carbon fiber engine cover. It looks really, really good. And then the individual badge up front, reminding us this is the frozen deep green metallic on the M5 CS. This car weighs a little over 4,000 pounds. And like I said before, it is a couple of hundred pounds lighter than the M5 competition. And that is really what's gonna make this thing uh, just feel a lot faster than the M5 comp. Here is the carbon hood, the underside, all of the exposed carbon. And then of course, M5 CS, 
just plastered on the bottom of it to remind you that you are driving the big daddy. The big daddy of M's. How do you close these hoods? Well, I'll show you. It's like that. Wow, that color is just so pretty. If you guys haven't seen one of these in person, you need, you need to find one and check it out. So being that it is a CS, it's obviously a limited run, um, one year production only on the M5 CS. We're gonna get into driving this car in a moment, you guys. I just wanna quickly thank Alta Auto Group for allowing me to test drive this car today, take it out for a little review video to show you guys. But they actually have a ton of different cars at this dealership. They have an M5 Base, M5 Competition, M5 CS, as well as a bunch of F80 M3s, E92 M3s, lots of different BMWs, GTRs, really, really cool high-end cars, and even some more affordable cars. So if you're interested in buying a car, you're in the market for a performance or sport vehicle, I'm gonna leave their information down below. Make sure you hit them up. Big shout out to those guys for allowing me to make this review for you guys today. It sounds really good. Hopefully you guys can hear that. It's not incredibly loud, but it sounds really good. So the first thing that I noticed when getting in this car, the suspension is a lot more stiff. Now currently I'm on the M2 setup, which is Sport Plus, Sport Plus for engine and chassis, Sport for steering, and all-wheel drive on four-wheel drive Sport. So from what I understand, the Sport suspension tuning was done on the Nürburgring. So you know that it's going to be aggressive, it's going to be stiff, it's going to be direct, it's going to be predictable, and it's going to be tuned very well. From what I can tell, that seems to be the case. Um, it is very stiff, but it feels, it feels really good. These seats are definitely something that people are gonna have to get used to. They are, just like the suspension, they're stiff. Um, they're fully carbon. However, they are electronically adjustable. So you have all of your uh, side controls over here on the side of the seat. So you can still get a good amount of adjustability on it to make them a little more comfortable. But at the end of the day, they are carbon buckets and they are stiff. They're not gonna be for everyone. You see a lot of people specking out the G80s and G82s with the normal seats, not the bucket seats for that reason, because they are rather harsh. I don't know, if I were to buy like a G80, I would probably spec it out to have these seats. I just think they're a lot better <laughs> in my opinion, but I'm a smaller dude. I'm not like a big, big guy. So I could see if you're a bigger person, these would probably get a little bit, a little bit annoying. It just keeps going. It just keeps going. <laughs> okay, chill, chill, chill. <laughs> this thing rips, this thing rips. 4,000 pounds, a little over 4,000 pounds. I think it's like 4,100. For 4,100, this thing moves for 4,100 pounds. So about 630 horsepower to the crank. So from the factory, it comes with like the CS tune, which is why it makes a little more power than the, um, the competition. But it's not like crazy loud on the interior. It's, it still feels like a luxury sedan. It's not overbearing. It's not all sport. It's like that perfect mix between sport and luxury, you know? Your PPF is going to be an absolute must with this car. I've heard that it's uh, really difficult, near impossible to match the frozen metallic paints exactly. And uh, I just can't imagine what that would cost if you had to do that. You also have shift settings on the shifter down here, the clamping power, whether you want it to be harsher or a little more loosey goosey, kind of like how we had in like the DCT transmissions. I think they've done a really good job with these ZF transmissions. They're the perfect mix between comfortable um, daily, like streetable city driving, but also you get that sport, you get that harsh clamp, you get everything that you liked out of the DCT. Not quite as harsh as the DCT, but you're still getting a, uh, a good mixture of that harshness and that more relaxed shifting when you want it. This thing handles so good, wow. It really doesn't feel like a 4,100 pound car. It feels light on its feet. 
But I think that that's just because of the way that the suspension is tuned and the, uh, the power of the vehicle. Ooh, she gets out a little bit. Wow. Dude, this thing feels amazing. Holy crap. Yeah, it feels good. It feels really good. It's like the perfect mix of luxury and sport. The clamping, the shifting is incredible. It's so harsh for a ZF. Man, that thing, that thing grips. Very, very good in the corners. It's so well balanced. Like 630 horsepower, that's, that's a lot of horsepower, but the way that this car puts down the horsepower is very efficient. This thing in the corners though, you guys, it's so good in the corners. This is the kind of car that you buy and you, don't, you just don't do anything to it because it just drives so good right out of the gate. You don't have to do anything to it. I have driven the M5 competition before and this is definitely a big step up from that car. The way that the suspension is tuned and how much weight was removed, or reduced rather, it's just so good, dude. It's so good. It's unreal. Would love to own this car someday, man. Dude, the launch control is like, I can't get over it. It's so direct to you guys. Like everything just feels so intentional in this car. <laughs> what a monster. What a monster of a BMW. Man, so cool. So glad I got the opportunity to drive this car and do this because, I mean, how many M5 CSs do you get to drive in your lifetime, if any? I would take this experience over driving the majority of supercars. Lamborghinis, Ferraris, they just don't really do it for me. Like, I would much rather be in a car like this. That's just me, though. I always look at, like, Lamborghinis and Ferraris as, like, the cars that you flaunt if you want people to know that you have money or look like you have money. But these are like the driver's cars. These are and like the Porsches. These are the driver's cars. And I always will pick these cars over the like the super cars that we see nowadays. They're cool. I'm not discrediting Lamborghinis and Ferraris. I just think that these are much cooler. Much cooler. So here's where you can change the clamping power how stiff you want it to actually clamp down right there on the shifter. Very convenient. Beautiful steering wheel. Got the Alcantara all over it. The little dots in red reminiscent of the CS badging. Dry carbon with leather red stitching everywhere, piano black trim, 
I think it's so cool that they have the Nurburgring etched into the, the headrests <laughs> on all four seats. It's just such a unique touch to the car and the fact that they tuned it on the Nurburgring is just so sick, so sick. Definitely a goal of mine to someday go to the Nurburgring and, and drive a car, any car that I can have would, <laughs> would be amazing on that track. Uh, imagine driving this on that track, that would just be insane. Unreal. And it's just so planted. Like, it just feels so secure when you're driving it. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, good thing we're in Mexico doing this. You, of course. You do have to be careful when driving this car, because she will, uh, she'll get out from under you a little bit if you're not careful. It's it's nimble, and it it's an M car, so <laughs> it likes to throw out that back end a little bit. You just got to be conscious of that when you're driving it. But um, if you're kind of expecting it, it makes the experience a lot more fun. Launch control in this thing is absolutely violent. Oh my god, it's just, I can't even hold the camera. Oh my god, dude. So violent. These carbon ceramic brakes do their job easily. No problem, a lot of bite. Stop this 4,100 pound M car like it's nothing. They are, um, yeah, they're impressive. Can't imagine how much they are to replace though. <laughs> oh god, it's so violent, man. That all-wheel drive really does something to you. Man, the more I drive this car, the more I love it. It doesn't handle like a big sedan. It handles like a sports car. Like a finely, finely tuned sports car. I think it's just mostly the dampening, the way that the dampening works in this car. It's stiff but it's not uncomfortable. It's not like you're just shaking everywhere. They just killed it when they tuned the suspension in this car. It's uh, it's so good. Yeah, that's how you know. A little windy out, so I apologize for that. But um, yeah, I've been driving this thing for about two hours now, just straight driving it. What an incredible car. This has just been such a fantastic opportunity to drive this car. It's uh, kind of just like a once in a lifetime opportunity, in my opinion, when it comes to cars like this. It's just not something that you get to see or drive every day, but Jesus, man. I sat there for about an hour and a half and just drove the car and didn't say a word. Didn't film it, nothing, just drove the car. And it's, it's unbelievable. There's no other car that I've driven that drives like this car. Being that it's a sports sedan, that it's as big as it is, but it's very nimble and it just, the horsepower just carries the car so well but the tuning of the suspension is so good. And that's really why you buy these cars. It's for the suspension, for the handling. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for tagging along. I appreciate you guys. Go show some love to Alter Auto Group if you're looking for a car to buy, sports car, or even some more affordable cars. They have a ton of different options, but I'll leave their information linked down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Love you, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.